Welcome to the Honig Trail Apiary. My name is Chuck Rao, and today I want to talk to you about the importance of providing your bees a good, reliable source of clean, fresh water. Uh, bees do consume water and drink water like, and need water, like almost all living things on this planet, and um, you have to provide a good, reliable source of water for them. Now, one of the other main uses for water for honeybees is to help regulate the temperature and the humidity inside the hive. This is especially important down in the brood nest where the baby bees are being raised. Uh, if the humidity gets too low, the, the grubs and the larvae can dry out and die. And uh, they gotta, the bees have to keep the temperature inside the hive within a, a relatively narrow range, uh, 94 to maybe 96 degrees, that's down in the brood area. And relative humidity uh, down in the brood area too, they have to kind of keep that uh, in a relatively short range. So when bees are out foraging, normally it's for nectar or flowers, maybe some tree sap for propolis, things like that. but. Other times you will have water bees who only go out and forage for water to bring back to the hive. So if you have a good reliable source of water for your bees, fairly close by, um, the bees will remember that and keep going to it day after day. Now bees uh, normally will suck up uh, water through their proboscis, um, like a straw. They store the water that they've collected in their honey stomachs or crop and bring it back to the hive. And they will store the water inside the hive, around various parts of the hive, into empty cells in the honeycomb. And inside the hive they'll create air currents. Sometimes you'll see bees fanning at the entrance. And through evaporative cooling, that helps cool the hive and keep it within those relatively narrow temperature and humidity ranges. Now, you want to have a source of good water for your bees. What I have here, uh, within a hundred feet or so of my hives, I have a small fish pond. And there's a good uh, healthy fish pond with fish. There's water plants in here. And there's also a cascade to uh, bring the water uh, circulating it down the cascade and, and into the pond. And as you see here, the bees do like to land on that cascade where, uh, especially on some of the algae that you see here, where they can get water. And uh, this is a good reliable source of water. I do have two other sources of water for my bees out in my main bee yard. One is a little basin that you see here with some brick and some rocks in it and also some little round flotation balls so uh, if the bees should happen to fall in the water they can not drown and get out again and uh, this has a little drip system in it that is connected to a garden hose and uh, the other little water source that I have for my bees is this little cascade fountain here it has a little submersible pump in there and it uh, cascades as you see down into the bottom basin. Now another inexpensive easy source of water for your bees is what you see here. This consists of a little shallow basin, maybe about two inches deep. It's filled with rocks uh, and there's water in it. And here is a two liter soda bottle with a small hole drilled in the bottom. And by controlling how much the cap is tightened or loosened, you can actually control the amount of drip uh, coming out of that bottle. Uh, it probably, right now, it's probably one drop every three or four seconds. So that lets this uh, two liter bottle of water last almost an entire day. But again, this is just one colony of bees. 
and if that's all you have that may be all you really need however again a lot of my bees go to the fish pond and uh, to the other two previously uh, explained water sources now here in the desert southwest where I live temperatures can get very hot sometimes over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and so the bees can go through each colony each hive can go through up to two liters of water per day so that's that's a fair amount of water so you need to make sure you have a good reliable source of water close by your hives uh, you don't want your bees to going out foraging beyond your own property uh, to your neighbors that could create a problem with your neighbors in my case uh, my closest neighbors have horses and uh, chickens and you don't want and goats so you don't want your bees to go over to your neighbors and to get their water and become possibly a problem at your neighbors so again you want to have your water sources for your bees within your own property and once the bees find a good reliable source of water they'll keep coming to it day after day they'll remember that and uh, they won't be foraging over at your neighbors. Bees don't like to really forage a long distance for water, so having a good reliable water source in your apiary is uh, good for the bees. Now, I get my water from a well, so there's probably uh, some trace elements in there too, but I don't add anything to my water as far as providing minerals or anything like that for uh, the bees. Uh, it's just straight well water. Um, if you live in a city or near a city where they treat their water maybe with chlorine, something like that, then you might want to provide your bees uh, with some kind of other source that maybe doesn't have the chlorine in it. However, bees will forage out of swimming pools, so if your pool is chlorinated, it, the chlorine doesn't seem to be a major problem for your bees. So I hope you will have learned the importance of providing water for your bees and nearby sources of water are the best because again you don't want your bees going over to a neighbor's and create a possible problem over there so thanks for watching and happy beekeeping